Welcome, second grade. This is uh, step two um, for the peacock project. So last class you drew your peacock and today we are going to um, start, this is going to be what's called the mixed media project, meaning we're going to use more than just one kind of thing, like not just crayon. Um, as you can see, just today, we're gonna to be using a blue marker. If you don't have a blue marker, you can use a blue crayon. We're using a pen and we're using a permanent marker. Okay, so that's just today. What I'm gonna start with is the pen and we're basically going to go over all of our um, pencil lines and you want to stay close to your pencil lines with the pen but you can see if i can zoom in here okay you can see how i went a little bit off and i'm not even going to erase that okay it's not that important um, and we're okay with having kind of a double line. Okay, so you can see that. Now I'm going to zoom back out so that none of us get sick here. Okay. And I'm going to do that same thing to everything with the feathers. Okay, I'm not doing that to the body, just the feathers. Now, if you are looking at mine and looking at yours and you're noticing, oh, I wish I would have done something different, definitely the time to do it is before you start the pen. So change anything that you need changing before you do the pen. Once it's in pen, it's, as we know, almost basically permanent. And if it's in pencil, we can erase it. Okay. And I do like to... As you guys know, I say it a thousand times, I'm turning my paper every time. Now I am gonna do these, um, but I'll save the outlining of the um, circles for the permanent marker. For those of you that have um, a smaller body, um, we're gonna come back up to this one because this is the only one out of all of mine that I have the top showing. Um, so I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do at the tops. Some of yours, your, maybe all of yours, you can see the top part. So we'll come right back to that. Okay, so we had talked about um, any of the ovals that you can see the top line. What we're going to do is make um, a little spiky. Um, so if that's the case for all of yours, um, you'll just go up and do that. It almost ends up looking like a pineapple, but um, on all of these, we can't see the top. So I don't have to worry about that, okay? Now, after I outline all of that with the pen, now I'm gonna go and grab my permanent marker. And I'm gonna start with these circles. And then I'm going to outline the rest of the bird. We can color in the center circle. Okay. Then the last thing are the clouds. 
Um, I'm just going to do the hills here, not the outline. Okay. And last row. Okay. So <clears throat> now that we have that outlined, now we're going to bring in the marker. And the marker is going to be just for the body. This and this part is going to be black. We'll color that in a little bit. And then these little um, half moons are going to stay white and the beak will be a different color as well. So right now we're just worried about the body. With marker, we don't use it a lot usually because of all of the, when we color quick with the marker, it leaves all of the lines for um, the directions that we went. So with this, what I want you to do is try to make these long lines down. So you can see how I outlined. Yeah. So starting coming all the way down and then just going right along the side of that. and making sure that you don't run your hand through it. I'm left-handed, so I started on the right side and then I work my way this way, that way, this part of my hand never gets into the blue. All right, and then you just kind of come back in here and Get any white spots that you left okay, and then I can turn it and get along the bottom okay again we can curve around that way we're leaving those half moon shapes Now all the feathers on the head are really, really, really small. Um, and so I'm going to use these lines that are being made by the marker that kind of show the direction of those hairs. So I know this isn't normally how you use a marker, probably, um, but this is how I want you to learn and try to use it. You use less marker ink, I guess, um, inside. So it's a, it's a good um, thing to get used to. All right, I'm going to leave that. So right now we're not coloring the inside portion of the eye. I am going to go back and grab my black marker. You could also use a black washable marker. And I'm going to now color in this space here. So we are not coloring in the beak today. Again, coloring with the black marker, same way I did the um, body just with the use of lines. I'm going to grab a, sorry, bigger marker to save time here.
Okay. So this is as far as I want you to get today. Um, blue body, black on the um, side of the head. The head is outlined with black, and then all of your feathers have pen going over all the pencil lines. So please do that. Good luck, and keep this in a safe spot. Until next week, thanks.